Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you guys are tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a long time of being away, then I just want to extend a warm welcome to you and let you know that our purpose and our hope is to pray for you first and foremost, and it's to share God's truth with you, and it's to create this into a community where you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, today we got a good topic. We're just going to be talking about keeping in step with the Spirit. Um, so, the Spirit... God lives inside of us if we have made Jesus our Lord and Savior. And if you don't know, if you have made Jesus your Lord and Savior, or if you don't know if the Spirit of God lives inside of you, then my guess is you have made Jesus your Lord and Savior, and we'll give you an opportunity to do so in just a little bit. Um, so, so that being said, we're going to be in Galatians 5, verse 25. If you have your Bibles, would you please go grab them, flip along to that passage with us, or turn on your Bibles and flip it as well. And if you flip into that passage, let me put this up in a brief word of prayer, and then we'll begin. Let's pray. Jesus, we love you, but we do not love you enough. So God, this is why we come to you every day. This is why you command us to, to seek your face every day. So God, we seek you right now. Speak to us now about this topic. Help us learn something new that would change us the rest of our lives. God, we love you, but we do not love you enough. Amen. All right, Galatians 5, verse 25. You guys ready? What says this? It says this. Um, Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. What does this mean? Sorry, guys, this is a little bit blurry. So I just had to zoom in out. It was a little bit blurry, guys, um, the video. All right, so since we live by the Spirit... Let us keep in step with the Spirit. What does this mean? If you are a Christian, then you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. So that means you're living by the Spirit. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. So what does that mean? Since we have the Spirit of God, we need to keep, us believers who have the Spirit of God living inside of us, we need to keep in step with the Spirit. How does this look? This means when the Spirit moves, you move. Don't let the Spirit move. You move as well with the Spirit. God wants to do something. God walks through the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, so God wants to walk through you. And if you don't keep in step with the Spirit, keeping in step with the Spirit means being in God's Word, being in the secret spot every day, being in prayer, being in, in your Word. I know a lot of people are not good at This is not easy. It's not easy for me. I admit, there's times where I feel tired. There's times where I don't always do it. But friends, this will change everything when we keep in step with the Spirit. The Spirit of God does change the things. And the Spirit of God wants to change you. So the question is, will you keep in step with Him? Will you? Will you? Because the Spirit of God changes everything. When God's Spirit moves, truly it changes everything. I just pray that we would keep in step with it. Amen? Amen. So where do we go from here from a very short passage? Where do we go from here after this topic? I just want to encourage you. I just want to pray over you, no matter where you're at. Because I know this topic is easy. I mean, it's not easy to talk about because we live in a world that's busy, busy, go, 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 go. And it's really hard. I just want to pray over you, no matter where you're at, no matter what season you're going through. Whether you're still on fire for God, whether this is coming easy, it's not easy. And it's not easy for you, even if you are really good at it. It's not easy. So let me just pray over you. Please bow your head, close your eyes. Lord, I just pray for the person, for the people watching this video, Lord. Lord, we are all going through something. And God, I don't have to know this story, but you do. So that's, God, the writer and the author of our story knows our story. What a, and the person who created us knows our story. Thank you, Jesus, and that's you. God, help us never forget you, Lord. Help us never be- become too busy for you and, and say we, we don't have enough time for you. When, God, you gave, you're the creator of time. You gave us life. So help us walk in step with the Spirit and keep in step with the Spirit. Lord, I just pray for the people who feel far from you right now, who have never given the life to you. Lord, I just pray that they would give you the life to you right now by saying, God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. I confess you died for me on the cross. And I repent of my sins. And I accept you as my Savior. And Lord, I just pray for the person who wants to recommit their life to you. That they would say, God, 
I've been hearing your voice calling out to me, and it's your voice, so Lord. So, Lord, I just pray that they would rededicate their life back into your hands. And, Lord, I just pray for the person who's been following you for a long time, that they would continue to go deeper into you, keep learning about you, not giving up. Be the, for the wait time, we'll reap a harvest if we do not give up. So, Lord, I just pray for all these people, Lord. Lord, this topic is not easy, keeping it up with the Spirit. We live in a world that's go, 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 go. On to the next thing. But, Lord, Lord, I just pray everyone just feels an overwhelming sense of peace and just feels like they can don't have to keep going, going, going. They can just rest in you, rest in your goodness, rest in who you are, Lord. I declare that, and I pray that over every one of these people watching this video, no matter what season of their lives they're in, they would just be able to feel a sense of peace, feel something for the first time, feel like they could take their hands off of the steering wheel and say, God, I'm resting in you because you are in control. So Lord, I pray that over everyone. Amen. Amen. If I just prayed over you today for the first time to receive Christ, or I prayed over you to recommit your life to Christ today, or I would just prayed over you to continue on your walk with Christ, no matter what you pray, I prayed, or I just prayed over you in general to encourage you to go deeper. Um, then I just want to say, as everyone rejoices, we rejoice. Um, please feel free to reach out to one of us. Um, we would love to hear your story. Just hear which decision you made, or just hear your story. Just hear your story in general. We are here to talk. We are not here to make these videos and upload them and then go who live our lives. We are here to, to engage in community and create this a community where you feel safe, where you feel known, and where you feel loved. So don't hesitate to reach out. Um, if you need prayer, as always, we are here. Um, if you guys were encouraged by this topic and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this video, please click on that share button and share this up with someone, share this good news with someone. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very blessed day and keep Christ number one. God bless you all. Much love.